The I-20 expansion has been, I-27 expansion's been in the work for years, but soon it will become a reality. Last week, President Joe Biden gave it a federal designation, meaning it will now stretch from Laredo, Texas, all the way to Raton, New Mexico. Before, it only connected Lubbock to Amarillo. The expansion is expected to bring in billions to the state. News West 9's Francisco Soto joins us with more. Francisco. Yeah, Crystal, I-27 isn't alone. The expansion of Interstate 14 was also signed into law last year. James Beecham with Motron says working on these projects are real game changers for the economy, but also for the safety of people. West Texas is known for one thing. We're the Saudi Arabia of the United States. Producing oil and gas. We're providing over 10% of the state's revenues. That's a big chunk, and it's all partially dependent on our road which is why some improvements are headed our way. We want to make sure as we move forward on these projects that again, we see promise and potential to that we're putting that money where it really needs to go based on commerce, safety, and population, freight, all those sorts of things. That includes building two major interstates, I-14 and I-27. But Beecham says projects are not built overnight. The process is slow but worth in the long run. What's going to happen is you're going to take a four-lane roadway like US-158 and make it four-lane divided. And then over time you'll come back and you'll add access roads and structures where they're needed, overpasses and things of that nature. And eventually over time you'll make a series of incremental improvements to that roadway that bring it to an interstate standard that allows you to go ahead and slap up interstate signs. You're consumer goods. But before the highways are established, safety is always kept in mind. When you start adding the overpasses and uh, those types of structures out there where you don't have cars backed up at a four-way stop, you save people time. And, and keep in mind, from a trucking perspective and an industrial perspective, you save in 20, 30 minutes is a lot of money both in operating that truck, paying that driver, gas costs, reduced emissions, all those sorts of things. And Beecham says now that the expansion has been signed, agencies can now begin raising funds to make it happen. Crystal. Thanks, Francisco.